Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Carolyn and welcome back to another episode of Beauty and Brews. Thank you for coming back to another episode. Um, if you're new here, hi, how are you guys? Um, this is a series where it's dedicated to creating beautiful makeup inspired looks by beer that I drink while doing my makeup. So if you're interested to see how this turns out and what beers that I will be reviewing, definitely stick around, hit that subscribe button, and we'll get started. So today we are reviewing a beer from Kansas City, Missouri. It's called Boulevard Brewing Company. This beer is called Tank 7. It is an American Saison Ale, and it is a 8.5% ABV beer. I don't normally drink Saisons, but for today's beer, I've asked the Instagram followers to cast their votes on what beers they want to see in this week's episode. So if you are interested in voting for any of the beers that I'll be showing on this series, go to my Instagram. It's called Nylarak, which is Carolyn backwards and underscore beauty and brews. I don't think you can miss it. So hit me up on Instagram. You'll find more on there than you'll see on the YouTube channel. So. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so with this series, some interesting information that I had found out about this is that the reason why it's called Tank 7, it was actually fermented in their tank number seven. So this beer is like a 3.8 on untapped and I was interested because I normally don't ever drink farmhouse ales and if you're not familiar with that term it's a farmhouse ale it is a Belgian traditional style with this beer in particular so it has a fruity aromatic citrusy balance dry and hoppy perfection with most farmhouse ales it's gonna have like a peppery dry finish at the end of the sip and it's gonna be moderately carbonated and most likely will be like a golden color let's go ahead and crack this baby open I am thirsty happy Friday y'all Well, definitely just got beer all over me, but that's all right. Um, yeah, so golden in color, a little hazy, but not too crazy. <laughs> um, carbonated for sure. Aromatic, it definitely has that hoppiness to it that it mentions. That grapefruit, that grapefruit, which is very traditional when it comes to hoppier beers like traditional IPAs. If you aren't familiar, it'd be really cool to do like a slow mo pour one of these days. I don't know how to do that. So one day I will. So if you keep on watching the series, hopefully you'll be able to see it, <laughs> see it happen on the channel. I'm not the biggest Saison fan, but overall I don't mind them. They're typically a little stronger in the flavor profile. This is definitely a little stronger than the farmhouse ales that I'm used to drinking if I were to drink a Saison. Um, this is an 8.5 again, and that's quite strong. <laughs> definitely can't wait to have dinner later. But apparently, with this series that they did, I'll actually link the videos up above because their video series is on YouTube. And they go around and ask renowned chefs across the United States how they like the beer and whether or not it would pair well with like a signature dish that they might do. It's a really great beer. I can imagine this pairing well with pretty much anything just because it has that hoppiness, grapefruit flavors, and then it has that peppery dry finish, kind of like almost reminds me of wine. Usually with Saisons, they do have that tendency to have that like dryness at the end of each sip. So it's, it's very similar to like a, a Chardonnay almost. All right, so overall, this beer is awesome. Again, it's an 8.5 Saison Ale. It is an American style Saison Ale, and it is a straw golden color, slightly hazy and light medium body for sure, and carbonated enough, but not too carbonated. It has a very nice balance between hoppy, 
and peppercorn citrusy flavors and it's not too pow overpowering with the peppercorn clover spice flavors because that is not the main flavor. So if you're ever interested in checking out a Saison that is almost similar to an IPA I would say, definitely check this one out and this is Kansas City so that's Midwest. I mean it literally could be anywhere. So let's go ahead and drink this while I go ahead and do my makeup. All right, for today's episode, we're gonna go ahead and use the Juvia's Place Zulu palette. We're gonna use that aqua color and we're gonna use the red in the palette as well. And then we're gonna use a black from the Violet Boss Essentials palette. That black is like very pigmented and very buttery. So I think they'll blend well together. So let's go ahead and start this look. So for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my eyes with the Pretty Vulgar Eye Primer, and then we'll go from there. I actually really like this primer. It does get pretty tacky, and it works really well with majority of the eyeshadows that I've used. Now I'm wearing mascara already, so I really don't wanna take that off again, because I'm lazy, let's be real. No need to, no need to use more mascara, right? I'm already starting to feel the effects of this beer. All right, so we're taking the Juvia's Place aqua color here. Don't know if it has a name or anything. Yeah, I've been really into this palette as of lately. I just got it last week. If you're interested in buying from Juvia's Place, you're probably gonna wait about a month to get your product, so. I'm gonna go ahead and take that aqua color. And we're just gonna apply that all over the lid. Getting drunk while I play with makeup. YouTube don't block me. I am 27 years old, going on 28. Get drunk, do makeup. Perfect. I'm gonna cut this up a little bit, you know. You know what I'm saying? Cut it. I'm taking a Morphe brush and, ooh. I'm doing a half cut crease, okay, guys? Because. We're gonna be applying that red from the Zulu palette right there. We're gonna apply this beautiful red color right here. First, but first, more beer. We're gonna take that same brush that we used to cut the crease and we're gonna go ahead and pack that in. This is a shader brush. Oh yes, give me life, red. Definitely has some pink in there, but the more you pack it on, it doesn't look bad. Hmm. Now we're gonna take that aqua color again, and we're gonna go ahead and buff that in to that. Not trying to blend that too much because it will make like a blue hue around the red and the blue where they connect. So we're taking a Sigma brush and we're gonna take the black from the Violet Voss palette essentials. And we're gonna go ahead and kind of like just tap that on the mirror. And we're gonna lightly add more depth into this eyeshadow look. The Violet Voss eyeshadows, I feel like, are so good and so underrated. No one talks about them as much as they should be, honestly. Because, like, that's freaking awesome. 
We're gonna take that Morphe brush again and we're gonna buff more. I'm just gonna try to like blend these two together as best as I can. I'm gonna take a Sigma pencil, pencil brush, take that black and blend that along the eyelid. I'm gonna take that Morphe brush again with that blue and buff that together. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of that blue. We're gonna go ahead and take the pencil brush that I have from Sigma, and we're gonna go ahead and blend that into the black, and then we're gonna take that blue, blend it in. I've already dusted off the excess, which was not too much, not, not too much fallout, honestly. What do you guys think so far? I don't know about like this whole space right here, but I don't hate it either. Um, we're gonna do the other eye off camera and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. What do you guys think of this? This look match the beer cans? I mean, I'm just applying a little bit of highlighter to you know, just finish up the look. Cleaned it up with some CoverGirl concealer and added Charlotte Tilbury's bronzer on the side. Lucky number seven. I'm gonna do some lipstick real quick and that'll be it. We're gonna go ahead and use the uh, aligner Cozy Kira. Next we're taking a ColourPop a liquid lip and adding that onto the lips. This is the shade Love Bite. Looks like I missed the spot right here. All right, everybody, what do we think? Final look, does it match the can? It's not bad, I think that red was a little pink. Um, maybe not the best red that I have for this specific one. But overall, I think this look looked pretty rad to me. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up on your way out. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't subscribed. Take a sip of beer for me. Cheers to all my fellow beer drinkers and non-beer drinkers out there. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Beauty and Brews. This beer has been amazing thus far since doing my makeup application. This look went fairly smooth in comparison to my last week's episode. If you haven't watched that, I'll go ahead and link that up in here too. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe if you're interested in beer and makeup. And if you don't like beer, but you like makeup, definitely subscribe. So I will see you guys next time on the next episode of Beauty and Brews. Cheers.